their lives or gave them to Jesus Christ for the first time this weekend. Listen, it goes like this. As I gaze into the sun, as one who's just begun to see things as they truly are, not as they appear to be. In this world of illusion and hypocrisy, I hear a trumpet blast as a band passed. On the street, moving feet to the beat of taps. I said, excuse me, sir, why the sad face? As he moved with a slow pace. In a crowd, we'd be loud under a shroud of what appeared to be a rat race. You, sir, he replied, must not know of this man who just died. For this is his funeral today as we march and we cry. I'm of the world, he explained, and this man was of great fame. He was full of pride, full of lies, full of lust and great shame. I don't understand, I said quickly. The old man shut my mouth swiftly. Hush, he said, don't disrespect the dead, for our leader does miss him, as well as our head. Your head, I replied. Oh yes, the father of lies. The one who's found hunched over his casket inside. He was a great loss, you see. He did much iniquity, and our leader does miss him, for he died tragically. How did he die, I asked. My heart skipped to beat fast. I must see the body of the one who soon passed. So the old man grabbed my hand as we pushed through the band of the crowd as they stood with their face in their hands. Look in this casket, young lad. Look at this man who was bad. Take a glimpse of the face of the one whom the world we once had. So I peered in the box. My face full of shock. Tears flowed from my eyes down my face to my lights. The old man stood dead still, but he asked with a great zeal, Why do you cry for this man who was killed? So I turned eye to eye, gazing through tears of joy that I cried. And I said to this man with my chest held high, This man that I see in this casket is me. Yesterday I found Christ, so my life is now free. Jesus. Jesus. How many can say you're free in Jesus tonight?